remember that uh, John Newberger, uh, TriMet bus driver, did an excellent op-ed piece for the Oregonian. Well, he's just done another piece here in our union paper called Remembering the Good Old Days. And I think I'd like to read it into the permanent record because he's done some great stuff, John. I remember when I was younger that the transit system here in Portland was fairly decent. You can get on one of those old Rosies, head downtown and catch a blue bus to Tigard or Points West. Usually it would take two or three hours to get out of the family farm in Sherwood. Back then I could ride for a dime or use one of the tokens that my grandmother gave me. I remember when the price went up to 25 cents when I was in high school. We couldn't believe that I was getting that it was getting so expensive to ride the bus. You see, back then my uncle drove the Union Ave Selwood line. Can't remember what number it was, but I could catch it or catch the Eastmoreland bus and end up downtown. I grew up in Westmoreland and it was kind of neat to drive through the wealthy neighborhoods and see some of the big houses that were there. Back then, the drivers of the bus made their own change for you or sold you tokens, so you could always get to where you needed to go without having to worry about car fare. Times have changed. Bus operators in the late 50s and early 60s smoked while they drove, as did passengers. They took no guff off anyone, especially if you were rude or creating a commotion. All in all, bus operators were respected people and they were respectful back at you. The bus operator was an important job in that the driver was someone you really knew where things or places were in Portland. They knew a lot, and for a young kid such as myself, I knew that if I ever became lost or out of sorts, all I had to do was find a bus driver and he would help me out. Times sure have changed. You wanna know why I'm writing all of this? Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be just like my uncle and be a bus driver. He enjoyed his job. It didn't pay much, but it made him feel good. I wanted that feeling too. Back then, bus drivers were a special breed. Wheeling those big buses around city streets, helping people out and caring about their passengers. Back then, when a fellow driver was walking down the street, the bus driver would always slow down and call out hello to Joe or Jim or Sam. He always waved and he always smiled. He always checked to see if his fellow driver needed a ride or if everything was okay. His passengers were treated the same way. If he were driving down Milwaukee Ave and saw Mrs. Jones struggling with packages while walking home, he would always stop and help her. Times really have changed. Today things are a lot different. Sure we find every day that our passengers do not treat us kindly. They don't care about others and they don't feel that we need to pay for their, and they don't feel that they need to pay for the service we provide. I have always felt and still do that bus drivers are a special breed. We have an important job to do every day, yet it seems that people just don't have any respect for us anymore. I'm not talking just about our passengers. I'm talking about other drivers. When we have put in our time for the day and we like to go home as soon as we can, so we jump off the bus, try to cross the street to catch that 72 or that 9 to get home. As we cross, as we cross the street, the bus drives away. <laughs> God, yes, and the truth. I can't tell you how many times I've made eye contact with another driver and he has pulled away from the stop. I can't tell you how many times I have waved at another driver and he hasn't even nodded to me, let alone wave. I know that they see me but the schedule is just so much more important today that they don't take the time to wait. Today, a poor older woman is struggling to gather up her packages to get in line for the bus, and the driver either yells to hurry up or closes the door and drives away. The mom with two or three kids in tow can't even sit down with them before the bus is lurching and driving on. The senior citizen has struggled to get onto the bus but can't sit down because kids in the side seats and the driver doesn't tell them to move. The disabled wheelchair-bound individual who can't steer very well is yelled at 
or chastised by others for taking up too much room. What is wrong with this picture? Why is it that today we all seem so hurried that we can't even take a little time to think about others? You know, I still enjoy being recognized by other bus operators, and you should too. Have times changed so much that we cannot take a few minutes to wait while another driver crosses the street or to wave a friendly hello? Are we in the midst of a hard time doing this job? We have extremely tight schedules to keep. We have no breaks that would be constituted as real breaks. We have a company that is more divided than ever. The morale is at the lowest it has ever been. Can you do anything to help at all to make it better? I know I can. I guess that what my point could be is that we need to stand by and support each other. We need to take that moment and say, hey, I know what it's like to be a driver too. Remember, we are not only drivers, and sure the money is great, but we are people that would not want to be treated the way we are treated by others. Take a moment and think about how you want to be treated. Do you want to treat others that way? Think about it. Maybe times will change for the better once again.